In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the entry one criteria, read, write, order and compare numbers up to 20. You can find them on the marsmath.com website under entry one. So there will be questions from different exam boards. We'll start with non-calculator questions and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here is the first question. Rob spends £14 on a tram ticket. Write 14 in words. So 14. Ten and the four makes fourteen. That's why fourteen. Fez reads about a game. This game has eighteen levels. Write eighteen in numbers. So eight. 18, 18, 10 and the 8, which makes 18. Rosie and her mum buy a pack of socks for £11. Write 11 in words. This is how you write 11, using letters. The stables have 17 horses, 17, write 17 in numbers. So again, the one and the seven, that makes 17, which is 10, add seven, 17 in total. A woman needs to buy a pack of party bags. She checks the prices on a website. She writes down the prices of the packs of party bags in order starting with the most expensive. So that is starting with the highest. So we've got £20, £14, £17 and £8. What does she write? So which one is the most expensive out of these all? Is it 20 14, 17 or 8. First of all, 8 is the lowest. It's below 10. So that's going to be the last one. Then, if you count, you've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 is the most expensive. Then we have 17, 14 and 8. These are four train tickets. Tick the cheapest train ticket. So we've got 16 pounds, 5 pounds, 17 pounds and 13 pounds. 5 pounds is below 10. The rest of them are above 10. So five pounds is the cheapest. A customer has different options for a bus journey. We've got 12 pounds, eight pounds, 19 pounds and 18 pounds. Put the tickets in price order starting with the most expensive. So we're going to start with the highest. Just like we did before. If you look at these numbers, 8 is below 10. The rest of them are above 10. So 8 is the cheapest. That's going to be the last one. If you continue counting, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 comes next. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 is the most expensive, then we have 18, 12 and 8. Put the numbers in order, starting with the smallest. We've got 15, 18, 19, 14, 13, 11. So all of these are above 10, more than 10. So if we start counting from 10, 10, then comes 11. So 11 is the smallest out of these. 
Then we have 12, which isn't here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now we move into calculator questions. Although these are calculator questions, so they appear in the calculator paper, you don't always need to use a calculator, but it's there if you want to use it. Rita gives a prize for table tennis. The prize is for the player who wins the most games. Who gets the prize? Tick the correct answer. So we're looking for the player who wins most games. The most games. So we've got Barry wins eight games. Evie wins 17 games. Olga wins 13 games. Salim wins nine games. So which number is the highest out of eight, 17, 13 and nine? Eight and nine, they're both below 10. 13 and 17, they are above 10. When you start counting from 10, 11, 12, 13 comes first. And then we have 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 is higher, is greater than 13. So 17 is the highest number of them all, the greatest. So we're going to take that one. Lela chooses how to get to work. She sees this list of journey times. Bike, 12 minutes. Bus, 7 minutes. Car, 8 minutes. Walk, 16 minutes. Lela wants to take the least number of minutes. How will Lela get to work? So we're looking for the lowest number out of 12, 7, 8 and 16. 12 and 16, they are above 10. So they are greater than 7 and 8. So comparing 7 and 8, which one is the lowest? When you count from 1, you're going to read or you're going to say 7 before you say 8. So 7 means less than 8. So 7 is the lowest. So that is for the boss. So we're going to say boss. A customer chooses a meal from the menu. We've got lamb, 16 pounds, pizza, 13 pounds, fish, 17 pounds, burger, 15 pounds, salad, 11 pounds, chicken, 14 pounds. The customer has 12 pounds. Which meal will the customer choose? So looking at lamb, that is 16 pounds, which is higher than 12 pounds. So they can't get that. Looking at pizza, that is 13 pounds. Again, 13 is greater than 12, so they can't get that either. Fish is 17 pounds. That is higher than 12 or greater than 12. So they can't get that. Burger, 15 pounds, which is higher than 12 again, so they can't get that. Salad is 11 pounds which is below 12, so they caught that. Chicken is 14 pounds, which is higher than 12, so they can't get that. So the only one they can get is salad. Rita has a list of classes at the sports center. Cycling, 12 people. Dance, 17 people. Football, 16 people. Swimming, 12 people. Tennis, 11 people. Yoga, 19 people. A customer chooses the class with the fewest people. So we're looking for the lowest number. Which class does the customer choose? 
So which number is the lowest out of 12, 17, 16, again 12, 11 and 19? I can see all of these numbers are greater than 10. So when you start counting from 10, the next number will be 11. And we can see 11 here. So that is the lowest of these numbers. So we're going to write tennis. Dan wants to buy a helmet. He has 12 pounds. We've got front light, nine pounds, rear light, eight pounds, lock, four pounds, red helmet, 12 pounds, white helmet, 16 pounds. Which helmet does he buy? So we've got two helmets, red helmet and white helmet. He can't afford the white helmet because that is 16 pounds. That is above 12. It's greater than 12. So the only one he can buy is the red helmet, which costs 12 pounds. Alex cleans four rooms, room 15, room 12, room 19 and room 14. He cleans the rooms in order. He starts in the room with the largest number. Write the room numbers in the order that Alex cleans them. Okay, so looking at the room numbers again, they are all above 10. So again, after 10 we'll have 11, which isn't here, then we have 12, then we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So if we're going to write them starting with the largest, we're going to put 19 first, then 15, then 14, then 12. Evie puts these boxes away. Each box has a number. 11, 17, 9 and 12. She starts with the box with the largest number. Write the box numbers in the order that Evie puts them away. So, the lowest of these is 9, that is below 10. The other three numbers are above 10. So, 9 is the lowest. Then we have 10, which isn't here. We have 11. We have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17. So if we're going to start with the largest number, 17 will be the first one. Then we'll go to 12, then 11, then 9. Rosie takes three tests. Each test has 20 questions. These are her scores. Spelling, 16. Maths, 15. Art, 18. In which test does Rosie get the highest score? So we're looking for the highest number out of 16, 15 and 18. When you count the numbers, you're going to start with 15 because it's the lowest and then you move to 16 and then you have 17 and then 18. So 18 is the highest of them all. Dylan looks at the number of writing lessons in the diary. Monday 11, Tuesday 7, Wednesday 12, Thursday 8, Friday 13. Dylan thinks most lessons are on Wednesday. Is he correct? Give a reason for your answer. So most lessons, that means we're looking for the highest number. 
So looking at 11, 7, 12, 8 and 13, 8 and 7, they are below 10. 11, 12 and 13, they are above 10. But when you count, you go 10, 11, 12 and then 13. So 13 is the last one. It is the highest number. So that is on Friday, not on Wednesday. So is Dylan correct? We're going to say no. Most lessons are on Friday. The party planner's next booking is for 13 people at a leisure centre. The customer wants the largest room that will hold 13 people. There are four rooms to choose from. So we've got the blue room that holds up to 18 people. We've got the green room which holds up to 15 people. We've got the red room which holds up to 10 people. We've got the yellow room which holds up to 20 people. Of course, we can't have the change room, swimming pool or the entrance. So, it needs to be the largest room that will hold 13 people. 18, 15, 10, 20. 10 is below 13, so 13 people can't fit in there, so the red room is gone. The only options we have are blue room, green room and yellow room. So which one is the largest? The largest is the one that holds most, the most. So 18, 15 and 20, when we compare them, which one is the highest? Again, 15, if you count 15, 16, 17, then comes 18. Then 19 and 20. So 20 is the highest. So we're going to say yellow room. And this is the end of the questions.